Good morning, Wasa West. Today is Thursday, October 9th. My name is Sonia Luzak, and this is I, the Warrior. Are you aware of what's happening outside of our warrior walls? Let's go to Marley and Aaron with this week's Warrior Update. Hey, Wasa West. My name is Marley, and this is Aaron. Today, we are on scene, and this is your Warrior Update. Apple had a week of releases, including iOS 8. This update messes with things like battery power and Wi-Fi, especially in generations older than the iPhone 5. At this rate, actual apples have a better chance of selling than the phones. Coca-Cola brings back the popular 1990s drink Surge due to the internet love for the soda. As a Pepsi lover, way to go Coke, adding another terrible drink to your list. Darden Restaurants Incorporated put Olive Garden under fire, criticizing the establishment about the excessive breadsticks. Only in America do people complain about free food. A new trend hits the web called passenger shaming. This is where flight attendants on planes film unruly passengers and post them on social media for the whole world to judge their poor airplane etiquette. Not to be confused with passenger shaming Celine Dion for her version of My Heart Will Go On back in 2012. And that is what's happening outside of the warrior walls. Thanks, girls. Homecoming kicked off this week. Let's head down to the hallways to see all the decorations. sure about the homecoming queen I mean there's a lot of really cool posters up there but I know Jake Whalen is gonna win homecoming king I mean I mean that guy's awesome now we'll go to Sean for some freshman opinions of West every year new students come to West as freshmen we interviewed Natasha Newman and Caitlin Tao about what they think of West my name is Natasha Newman and what do you think about the school? Um, I think it's a good school. It's nice. Like smuts? Oh, they're nice. They give you a lot of off time to get all your homework done. That's great. What do you think of the teachers and the students? They're really nice. They, they're very helpful and everything. That's great. What's your name? Caitlin Tao. I'm in ninth grade. So what are your opinions on West? My opinion on West is pretty cool. Like, um, I think the mods are pretty cool. Like, you get your homework's done in, during off mods and um, you can you can explore like as many clubs as you want and the teachers are pretty cool too. Next we interviewed Ms. Kidonsky and Mrs. Oberbeck about this year's freshman class. I'm really pleased to be working with this year's ninth graders. They've come in off to a really good start. Uh, many of them are enthusiastic and happy to be in high school. And they seem to enjoy what we're learning. They ask really good questions and participate well in class lessons. I think that this year's freshmen are one of the most polite classes we've ever had here at Wasa West. They really use good manners. They are fairly well behaved. It's, it's been a nice change for the library. 
I would tell the freshmen that they should keep up the good work in terms of keeping up with their daily work in all of their classes. And so that will help them a lot in terms of doing well here at Wausau West academically. I also encourage the freshmen to get involved. We're so lucky to be at in a school where there's so many opportunities outside of the school day to pursue their interests and passions. This is a great place to be, but it's even better when you get involved. Most opinions of this year's freshman class are favorable. They've made a very good first impression at Wausau West. Keep it up, freshmen. Good choice in questions, guys. There's been a new face around school. Let's find out more about Ms. Kopetsky. If you have had tardies or an unexcused absence, you may have noticed a new face in the attendance office. We sat down with Mrs. Kopetsky and asked her some questions to get to know her better. Do you have any tattoos? I do. I have one tattoo. I have a picture of Mickey Mouse on my big toe. What is your favorite song? Um, I can't really pinpoint a favorite song, but I would say because I was in high school in the 80s, I definitely love 80s music. Do you have any good injury stories? Um, yeah, I have a scar right here. I smashed into the back of someone's car in Grand Avenue when I was in high school and got 50 stitches in my mouth and my girlfriend went through my windshield. Are you married? I'm married. I've been married to 15 years. My husband is Mark. How many kids do you have? I have two children. My daughter Megan is a freshman at West, and my son Ben is a sixth grader at John Muir. What is your dream job? This is my dream job. This is a great job. I love working here. I love all the staff and the students. Thanks, Mrs. Kopetsky, and welcome back to West. It was very nice to meet you, Mrs. Kopetsky. Welcome to West. This week, Music has been playing on the way to homeroom. Let's head over to Wendling Linsmeyer homeroom. The Wendling Linsmeyer homeroom would like to officially challenge Mr. Richards homeroom number 164 to the music challenge. See if you can shake your groove thing like us. Mr. Richards' homeroom challenges Mr. Teske's homeroom. Good luck! Listen up, everyone. For those of you who were here last year, you might remember the Instagram contest we had. Well, we've come up with another one. This week's Instagram contest is take a selfie with a teacher. First, get permission to take the picture with your teacher and then post it to Instagram. Don't forget, put hashtag WestTeacher. The person with the most liked selfie will have a chance to win a $5 certificate to the school store. This year has been packed with sports. With more info, info, here's Joey. Hi, I'm Joey Hipsch. Now let's get to some scores and highlights. Over the past two weeks, the Warriors volleyball team has had two big games, September 18th against Marshfield and September 25th at East in the Volley for the Cure game. In the game versus Marshfield at home, Lauren Conley had a spike from the right side to even the score in the first set at 2-2. However, we fell to the Tigers in three sets. The Volley for a Cure game, West led early but lost to East in five sets. Last Thursday, West lost to Spash at home in three sets. On September 19th at Tom Field, the Warriors football team lost to Appleton North 14-7 with two late touchdowns in the fourth quarter. The play that set up the West touchdown was a fumble on the second half kickoff, which led to a four-yard touchdown run by Jake Kramer. This on September 26th, West beat Kukana 20-6. This last Friday, West lost at Kimberly 7-34. The West boys varsity soccer team lost against Marshfield 2-1 on September 26. Charlie Hessel had the lone goal for West in the loss. Also, tie, also they tied with Rapids 1-1 last week and lost to East 0-1 last Thursday at home. However, we are still in playoff contention. The West girls swim team placed third out of eight teams at the Eau Claire North Invite on September 27. They also lost against Spash 75-95 on 
October 2nd. But Caroline McDonald won the 100 meter butterfly with a time of a minute and five and five second five seconds. And Hannah Sinaika won the 100 meter breaststroke with a time of one minute, 12 seconds and 51. Congratulations to Jasmine Sams on her commitment to St. Louis University to play basketball. Thanks. Now let's head back to Sonia. Thanks, Joey. Job well done to everybody in sports. Thanks for tuning in to the October 9th show of I the Warrior. And remember, the Instagram hashtag is WestTeacher. I'm Sonia Luzak, and hey, be a warrior today.